This is the review of the Vans Elijah Burl. For the past four years, I've been reviewing shoes, and this is the number one skateboard shoe review channel in the world. So thank you everyone who has liked, listened, and subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then you might as well just go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I'm giving you non-biased, honest reviews because nobody is sponsoring these shoe reviews, and I get to tell you guys my exact opinion. And for something that's just for you guys, I just developed the number one skateboard sticker app in the world. So if you go in the link in the description, it's the Shoe Drop Pack. And you go ahead and download that, and you can send a text to your friends like this, or if you just want to film yourself doing a trick and put a little sticker next to it, you can do that too and save it, put it on Instagram, put it on your TikTok, whatever it is that you want to put it on. Now, make sure you listen up, because I'm about to tell you guys the truth, the absolute truth, and nothing but the truth, my honest opinion about these vans. Like I said in the intro, no one is giving me any money to do these reviews, so these vans cost me $75 at the van store. Some of the product details about the Burls is a Vans Waffle Control Construction. Vans Original Waffle Compound. Duracap Upper Reinforcement, which actually usually helps out a lot. Also features a Comfort Enchanted Liner. And I don't know what the hell a Comfort Enchanted li Liner means. I hold on. What does Enchanted mean? Enchant means fill someone with great delight, charm. Apparently these shoes are really charming. All enchantment aside, I've been skating these shoes for three weeks now, so I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to go to the Vans Park and skate there, right? Well, as it turns out. Apparently, you need approval from corporate, and they don't let you charge your phone in their office, so I can't do anything here, so I have to go somewhere else. But this park is cool looking, but they suck. If you want to see more about what happened that day and all of the other weird stuff that goes on behind the scenes of filming these shoe reviews, make sure you check out the last vlog that I did when I show the behind the scenes of filming a lot of stuff that I do for these shoe reviews. And make sure you subscribe for the future vlogs I'm going to be putting out because I'm not going to try to put out videos every week anymore because it's a lot of stress on me and I don't want to do it because it's honestly just not worth it for me to do it like that right now. Eventually I want to, but having a full-time job and doing this doesn't work out the way I want it to. So for now, I'm going to put out shoe reviews that have the best, highest quality that I can with more time in between them because the more I get to skate them, the more I get to know how they are, the better of a shoe review I can give to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into what I think about how these shoes actually skated and what they're like. To begin with right out the gate, the instant that I picked these up, I thought these shoes were a lot heavier than most shoes that I've ever skated. The insole is actually stitched into the shoe, so you can't take it out to switch out the insole with a different insole. And the insole itself feels like you're stepping on a flat piece of wood. So I did put some of my footprint insoles on top of those, which will be linked in the description below if you guys want to get some footprint insoles for yourself, because they're awesome and they honestly feel like they're saving my skin. If you're not really concerned about that much cushioning in your insoles, then you'll be fine. And if you like board feel, then you'll be even better because these have immaculate board feel. That pretty much covers the insole of the shoe. As for the outsole of the shoe, the grip on the bottom is not very grippy because no matter how hard I tried to grip the ground when I would fall down, my foot would still slide out from under me. So the grip on these vans is not really that great. The thing that I didn't like the most about these shoes was how they flicked, especially right when I got them. Because that dura cap that's here on the toe cap made it so that every kickflip I did, I had to really adjust the way I would do them and really have to focus and get used to how these flicked in order for me to be able to kickflip like I normally would. Eventually I got used to it and I was able to skate pretty good, but there was definitely still times where I felt myself having to really focus on what trick I wanted to do to be able to do it. For me personally, I honestly did not like the way that these handled heel flips. Every time I would try to do a heel flip the way I would normally do them, or a barrel heel, like one of my favorite tricks to do, it wouldn't really happen the way I wanted it to, and I was having a really hard time getting used to it. I ended up getting the board caught in between my legs on a barrel heel and having the board smash my toe, and there's not a lot of padding on the top of this shoe, so my toe was pretty much doomed. And I actually just got back from the hospital and I wanted to make sure that my toe isn't broken. It's not broken, but it's definitely banged up. So the next shoe review is probably going to come out in a little bit longer fashion than normal. Although the Dura Cap did really mess with me and how I flick my tricks, it really did help with this durability. Because I've been skating these semi-hard for about three weeks now, and they're holding up pretty good. So as far as the durability goes with these shoes, it seems like they'd last at least another week or two. With almost every shoe company, I typically skate a size 10, but with these, I got a size 10, but it felt like I had a little bit more wiggle room than normal. 
So if you want to try these out, make sure you go to the store and try them on in different sizes. Make sure that you have the size that fits you correctly. As far as it goes for breaking these shoes in, I feel like they broke in easy, but at the same time, I personally just couldn't get used to them. Obviously, you could skate any shoes you want, and Elijah Burl skates these, and he's amazing, so you can get used to them, skate great in them, but I just personally could not get used to them. Another thing that I found really strange about these shoes is that the outsole itself has grooves that are literally like a half inch deep. And I don't understand why, because it really didn't help me at all. If you were to ask me if I'd want to skate these shoes again, I would tell you hell no. Because I only skated these for three weeks just to see if I could find more things that I like about them to tell you. But as it turns out, I kind of personally just didn't like them the whole time. So now, the only thing I really want to do is read your guys' comments down below and let me know what you thought about these shoes. Definitely tell me what shoes you want me to skate next. Go ahead and check out the description because the number one skateboard sticker app in the world is down there that I created personally for you guys. And definitely subscribe there because it's going to keep growing and growing every single time I come out with updates that are going to be animations that also you can leave comments down below and say, hey, it'd be cool if I had a cool animation of a guy breaking a board that I could send my friends when I'm mad or something like that, which is actually a good idea. I might do that. And that's pretty much it. So the only thing left to do with these now is get rid of them. I got the skin of your brothers on my face. What do you think is going to happen to you? So this is what happens to all the shoes that I do not like. Especially these ones. Shoe drop! Whoa, hold up one second. Before you go anywhere, make sure you check out the rest of my channel because I have some funny ass vlogs and some amazing shoe reviews for you guys to check out. And there might be a shoe that you want to know about in there. So make sure you smash that subscribe button because I'm coming out with new vlogs and shoe reviews every so often.